Hello and welcome to the first instalment of The Real. I am a part of the Lab Rat series. This is part two. Um, it's basically my progress report on how the workout's been going for me so far, halfway through the month. Um, basically just trying to update you guys on the real elements of it. Um, I've been a bit slow with getting this out, you know, just life, real life me getting in the way. Um, and that's the whole part of doing this part of the series so that I can, uh, I can really let you know how to get this stuff done in relation to your real life and your, your life outside of working out and outside of your sport and whatever it is. Um, but you know, in that time that it's taken me to get it done, I've managed to get some, some merch. Um, so yeah, you know, still making progress behind the scenes, uh, but finally getting a bit, a bit consistent with this. So let's get into it. So on the reel, um, I'm basically just going to be keeping it short and simple, um, just letting you know what's gone well, what's gone badly, uh, you know, just going over a couple questions and letting you know how it's going. So the first question that I've written down here is, um, why did I choose this workout? So the reason I've chosen this one is because Athlete MX uh, on YouTube, he's generally very science driven. Um, so the science behind a lot of the workouts is uh, it's very logical. Um, he keeps everything real. I've said the word real a couple of times now. Um, but he keeps everything real. Um, he breaks things down. Um, a lot of the stretches are stretches that you would do, but just in a different way. And you can get more out of it. And I mean, just with a lot of the content he's, he's produced, uh, I've realized that he does generally know what he's talking about and he doesn't mess you about with it so that's why I chose this specific workout and not every not every exercise in the workout is from him um, some of the stretches are just stretches I do by myself some of the stretches are stuff I've seen NBA guys do um, but generally using his concepts for the stretches that he has suggested um, definitely helped um, so yeah that is why I chose this workout So the second question that I've asked myself was what's gone well with the workout. Um, so I think definitely the best part of this is the ability drills, the dynamic warm-ups before you work out, whether it's gonna go and play sport or you're gonna go and work out with weights or your cardio workout, whatever it is that you're gonna do. If you do these dynamic stretches before or these you know, mobility drills, um, you'll definitely just feel a lot more loose, a lot more supple. Uh, just a lot more prepared to go. Um, I think that's one of the key things with me doing this whole series. Uh, it's about being able to prepare your body and uh, recover. Um, that's going to be a key element of everything that I do. So you definitely feel very well prepared to work out when you do one of these drills. Third question I have what's gone bad? So for me, um, the, so the, the warm ups have been great, the cool downs have been <laughs> awful. Um, I've been very bad at trying to stay on top of it and doing it every day. Um, I've had to catch up some days and do like two sessions a day just to make sure I get the right amount of sessions in for the month. But um, yeah, just when you've had a long day, now you've been working, you've got gym in the morning and you're doing nothing. Um, you know, you're trying to get a lot of stuff done and then before you go to bed or then to remember to give myself another 20 minutes to do this. Uh, it's very tough, it's very tiring. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, it's been tough to keep up with, but uh, it's a grind. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely say that's what's been the worst thing for me doing this one. Uh, the last question I've got that I've asked myself is, uh, do I think I'll pass the test? Um, now, Honestly, I think I will because the way that the stretches are just set up, um, they get your body into positions that you're not necessarily used to. Um, and that's a good thing because I've not been in a position where I've ever really been able to touch my toes before. So I think I will be able to touch my toes by the end of the, end of the month. Um, other things that I've never stretched this consistently with a purpose. So I have done it before um, whilst I've been playing during the season because I wanted to be able to just go again for the next session. 
but I've never done it with a purpose of I'm stretching to try and stretch further. Um, and what that means is that I don't treat the stretching as if I'm just stretching to rest. The stretching is actually a workout in itself. So I'm pushing myself each stretch. I'm always trying to go further and further. And I think when you set yourself that target, it's not necessarily even the exercises that are doing that, but when you set yourself a target, you'll end up um, going further. So I believe that process test is so as well. So that's it for me with the progress report. Uh, that's where I'm at. I'll keep it real with you. Um, you just you know, keep on supporting the movement, keep watching the videos, liking it, commenting, subscribing, um, follow all the social media. Um, you know, I just be updating as much as I can. Um, and hopefully one day I'll, I'll get consistent. You know, uh, so you know, I've got to great stuff. So next time, um, I'm out. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and of course, follow us on all of our social media platforms. Until next time, stay blessed.